Like many esteemed gamers, my back catalog has gotten enormous. So many different games that I've never gotten a chance to play or just refused to play, but I did for some reason feel the need to buy them. Here I am, trying to make up for that weird discrepancy in what I bought and what I decided to play. So, this is Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Now this was a game where, uh, I believe it was an Xbox 360 game that also came to PC. Some, oh geez, wow. Resolution is fucking terribly low. Is that as high as I can get it? Considering this was a 360 game, I have no doubt that I can set the everything up to the max. Because why the hell not? I heard good things about this, which is why I bought it. But then I just didn't play it. So, let's check it out. Welcome to Slave Ship 909. En route to Pyramid. You have been assessed and any injuries sustained during your capture have been designated as non-life-threatening. Remaining duty time is estimated at 16 hours. If you are experiencing severe nausea or need to release yourself, to position to move your feet. <laughs> Oh, I'm in control. Ah, ah shit. Oh, hold on. Um, the button I have, I have the space bar bound to the... I have space bar bound to the microphone, and unfortunately that's also the jump button. I'm using a controller here. There's no way I can change this. I suck! Alright. Oh, shit. This game actually looks better than I was expecting it to. <laughs> Get over that. The animations aren't that great, but... I mean, otherwise, the game looks pretty close. The girl just warped over there. The animations look a little shitty, a little cheap, and that the girl was standing here and then she suddenly appeared here. Also, this heavy motion blur is not appreciated. Oh my god, that's bad. There's gotta be a way I can turn that off. Motion blur off, there we go. That's better. <laughs> not that I'm opposed to motion blur, but it was bad. Oh. Ow. Oh. 
Okay, there's no bouncing act I have to do. That's good. What the hell is happening? I guess she did this. Where are you going? Let's get off this thing! Broke the rules. Oh, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Oh, okay, I gotta go back and fight the mech. Here we go. Come on! Oh, I gotta charge it. Well, let me- give me a sec to get used to the... Okay, the shield will recharge. So, you move, take cover. Okay, fuck that. Trigger to block attacks. Oh, I 
thought it was dead. <laughs> Hammer angle doesn't work too well for me. Come on, guy. There we go. I guess the girl got away. Six. Better get a move on. Were all those pods that blew up full of people? I mean, damn, that's terrible. I guess I can't go down there. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Or did I turn around and was I running the wrong direction? Yeah, that's gotta be it. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me! X and A for a while. Stun charge attack. Oh, you didn't tell me I had to release X. <laughs> oh, what, what a, oh, it was focusing on that, but I think it wasn't intended to. He runs kind of funny. Hey! Hey! Open the door! You mother! Nathan Drake on is what you do. Clearly didn't do it quite as well as Uncharted. But the combat's very different. It's kind of weird. I don't know what the hell the call is. It's quite a steampunk. Techno Conquer. Missed it. Oh, I thought that was a door. Huh. No. Ah, okay. Agile big bastard, isn't he? Got him killed. <laughs> oh, no, no, he didn't die. <laughs> Is that the Statue of Liberty? So I guess this is like a post-apocalyptic future or something. Beak, beak, beak. Okay. Oh yeah, that was good. Oh, I'm controlling it. <laughs> I have to 
crash into New York. Okay, that was probably the girl. Oh, damn. One pod remaining. Shit. Oh, come on. Come on, you idiot. Move it. Come on. Impact in Straight up loading screen, didn't expect that. It's ripped open. It's the headband. <clears throat> the what? The slave headband. The one I fit on you. You put this on me. Let me explain. Get this thing off, or I'm gonna rip your head off. No. No? You think I'm screwing with you? Yes! Give me a stop! Ah! It works. Come in, move away from me. Ah! Oh. What the hell are you doing? Ah. I hacked a slave headband. Oh. So it could be activated by my voice commands. Ah. Activation triggers a systemic pain response. That's what controls the slaves. I'm gonna kill you. You can't. If my heart stops beating, for any reason, the headband will discharge a lethal dose. If I die, you die. Oh! Why? I need your help. I come from a wind farmer community. It's about 300 miles from here. I'll never make it on my own. If slavers don't get me a mech's will. That's the deal. Get me back to my home and you can go back to yours. Looks like I don't have a choice. Neither of us do. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's go. Stay with me. Oh man, what? 
Shadow gradients are driving me insane. What the hell is all this stuff I can see? I've hacked the headband to give you visual feedback. It's patched into your shield system and my biometrics. And your voice? It's like, it's, it's inside my goddamn head. It is. We have a continuous audio link now. <sighs> Great. You got pretty beat up when we landed. Health pack. Shall we keep going? Man, what a fucked up situation. Who are all these people? Who cares? This must have been some kind of gathering point. It's like a subway station. Is this the way out? How would he know? Looks like there's something over here. I don't think that's the way out. Forget, I, I mean, I haven't spent a lot of time in New York City, so I don't know what this train station is called, but I've seen photos of it. I think this must be a drawbridge. Must be to keep Max out. There are some controls here. The other side is blocked. Can you get around and clear it? <sighs> I guess. Uh, can't jump that. Oh, we gotta go around. What a fucked up situation we're in here. I, uh, there's gotta be a way I can turn that damn shadow banding off. If I turn it on medium, does it go away? Let's take a take a moment to look. He's in the light there. Let's change it to medium. All right, let's turn it to high. Yeah, that's where that shadow banding comes from. Just curious, what does it look like on low? Gets rid of most of the real-time lighting. Still got shading, of course, but... Eh, you still got the shadow banding here, though. It's so ugly. I wonder if that's resolution-dependent. There's no anti-aliasing option, is there? I suppose this might have been a um, Unreal Engine 3 game. They did, wasn't un, anti-aliasing wasn't particularly common in those games using that engine. But yeah, she goes and freaking. I mean, she blows up that airship we were on, which I mean, I guess he does have in a sense to thank her for doing that because that's how he got out but how many other people did she kill like those pods must have had people in them if theirs did and then she almost gets him killed he manages to survive I can't go down there he manages to survive while she's running away and then <laughs> she sticks some sort of like the, the slave collar I guess it's the same thing that that guy that we ran into that was killed for for helping Be careful. Th this Does anybody have a name in this game? What was that? Thanks. Keep your voice down. They could be close. What are we going to do? Not make too much noise. Oh. I could beat them to death with a stick. I could do that. Deal with this. Oh, all right. Gonna die. Okay. 
It's all clear. Get over here. Coming. Ah, recycling. At least they're doing that in the future. We could get out through here. Can you move this? Health pack. And whatever these things are. A lot of plant life for not a lot of sunlight. No mechs! Every time I talk, the, the, guy's, the guy's gonna jump because it's still bound to that key. I'm thinking about shutting the game down and then changing that and going, getting back into this. It's kind of it. I'm, oh, dear. I guess she... She clearly doesn't have his crazy size and strength. He's going around beating mechs to death with sticks and weird weapons and stuff. I'm guessing she's not quite capable of that, so she needs him to... Do you think you could tell me what the plan is? Don't you have the plan? Oh, Grand Central Station, that's what it was called. To get you home as fast as possible so that you can take this thing off my head and I can break your neck. I meant... Yeah, I know what you meant. See that smoke over there? That's where the slave ship came down. First thing we're gonna do is head for that. Hoping my ride survived the crash. What's your ride? Yeah, it's the only way I know how to cover 300 miles. Two wheels and an engine. There must have been thousands of people living here. More. Tens of thousands? Maybe. It's so sad. I wonder what happened to them all. Hmm. I guess maybe that's the mystery we're going to end up uncovering throughout this game is what happened to society. What happened to civilization? This is New York City. These people don't even know what the city was. She wasn't... Well, I mean, she lives 300 miles away, so perhaps she doesn't know anything about this. And we don't know where the guy is from. So he's maybe not from around here either. But to not even know that New York City was a thing. There's a tree growing out of that building. Not even know that New York City existed. And to, to not be able to tell that it wasn't thousands or hundreds of thousands, but in fact millions of people that lived in this city. Nice anime. Oh, what? I did not do that. Kidding me? <laughs> Wouldn't let me go. Uh, we see the reason why she needs him. She's completely incapable of dealing with the situation. I guess I don't have to. Oh, is is this thing getting destroyed? Oh yeah, look at that. So I can't stay here forever. Is it looking for me? Oh, okay. Now's my chance. Time to go beat it to death. Where'd it go? Got it. Thank you. 
get that stick. More, come on. That one looked pretty good. If we're gonna get through this, then when I ask you to do something, you need to do it immediately. Okay. I understand. I'm guessing she does not come, well, she said some sort of a wind farm or whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. I mean, is it a wind farm as in, like, like, windmills? Just using wind to generate electricity? Or is it wind farming like something stupid, like what Sluke Skywalker does with moisture farming? Are you gonna come with me or what? Oh, you gotta tell her to. Let's go. Ha! Ah. Okay. I think we can go this way. Why are you asking him for the plan? Wasn't this your idea? Well, now you're now you're dictating where we go. Whatever these are, I'm assuming they're important, so I'm gonna collect them. What did she do to it? What the hell was that he did? It's an EMP pulse. My father gave it to me. It knocks out small mechs for a few seconds. Enough to give me a chance to get away. And what the hell do you need him for? The security door is still functioning. There must be live power cells around here. Doesn't matter. We shouldn't get sidetracked. We just need to get to the crash site. Oh, alright. What? She just appeared on the other side of that door. Max! Shh, we can't sneak past them. I'll get across and draw their attention. Then you make a run for it. Oh, jeez. The camera angle is getting in the way sometimes. So bad. What the hell is she doing? It's running out. Be careful. All right, so we're good here. Okay, fully charged. Yeah, but I'm already across. Distracted.
Am I supposed to go down there and fight him? Oh, I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. What happened? What? Did he, did he get shot in the face? We can't sneak past them. I'll get across and draw their attention. He was grabbing his head like that. Wait, hold on. Did she kill him? She killed him, didn't she? yet? Oh, yeah, she is. Man, she, I mean, I know she, she's doing what she has to do to survive and all. But, I mean, there are certain lines that you, it's hard to morally justify doing, you know? Yet. There's the way out. But we'll never make it across that gap. There's no cover. Maybe this time I can distract them? I might be able to create a decoy. Okay, got it. Go. It's running out. Be careful. Hey! Go. Fine. Got okay. It. Fully charged. Hey! hey! I can't hack the door. There's no cover. Okay. Okay, leave it with me. I'll take out those mechs. Are you gonna kill me again when I climb down there? <laughs> go, go, what the hell's wrong with you? I can use my decoy if you need to. Distract it! Right. Go the way I came? Oh, that's a pain in the ass. Hello. I didn't need it, I guess. of years old. A tree that big doesn't grow quickly. How long has uh, New York been a wreck? The 
Rhoda Head's mind. We need to find another way. I think I might be able to do something. Follow me. Hey. Might wanna, I think you might wanna explain See what you're doing. See the dragonflies? I need you to catch one. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not commanding you. I'm asking you. The branches are pretty high. Hey! What about that ladder? If you lift me up, maybe I could drop it down for you. Okay, is that what we're gonna do? Just so toss her up there. You want me to catch one of these dragonflies? It might be difficult. They frighten easily and they're quick. There's one. Right there. I'll put it on your display. On his display. <laughs> Get it! It's Get just, it! It's, it's right over there! It's just... Ugh. I know, I can see it. I'm not blind. God damn it, stay still! How convenient that it's I'm chasing it across this convenient pathway. I'm going to kill you. Did you catch it yet? No, no, not yet. I guess they're trying to be cute or funny with this. Got it. That's great. Bring it back down here. Yeah, stuff it in your pocket. I guess they're trying to make it a little bit lighthearted because it's easy to sort of fall into the thought of how dark and screwed up the whole situation is. How am I supposed to get out of here? Now, oh, all right. Can't help but wonder if. Well, it's more than a wonder. I'm pretty sure I know the answer. Yeah, hold on. Oh, it's a freaking robot. I used robot. to play with dragonflies all the time as a kid. Didn't you? No, I used to squash them. They evolved some simple sensors to help them sniff out energy sources. Hmm. They're pretty basic, but for our purposes, they'll do the trick. It's now set up to send a live relay to your headband. It has a camera setting and a sensor setting. So? Try it out. Follow me. And what did she do? Can I see the landmines now? Oh, yep. You should be able to see the mines on your headband display. What do you think? Don't do anything stupid like pretty run right cool, in huh? the... Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Can you take me through the mines? I can't see where they are. I gotta carry you? Jeez. Just follow in his damn footsteps. <sighs> I 
how easily he can climb up that crap, especially when he's got someone on his back. Oh, dropped her. rivets in your shoes. Can't be comfortable. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was easy. Wait a minute. Something's not right here. Maybe you should do another scan. We got a problem. There are mines everywhere. Let's head for that building. Should have known that was too easy. Oh man, how far around do I gotta go? I suppose that, like, you could get away with certain things when you sort of write the story in a certain way. Now, I'm going to guess that there isn't going to be an extremely strong antagonistic relationship between these two characters. Of course, in the beginning, like, especially in the very beginning, they're going to be... They, they already did. I'm stuck here. He doesn't want to do this. He doesn't want to take her back home or anything like that. She more or less just enslaved him. I mean, oh shit! What? <laughs> Throw me up to that ledge. I'll look for a way through. How do we do that? Oh, oh that ledge. Oh. Nope. I'm, I'm getting this wrong. Up there. Oh, okay, it's just a context action. I can get across up here. I thought I could just throw okay. her. Okay. Okay, I'll find another way. So in the beginning, in this kind of thing, you're definitely going to see a very antagonistic relationship between the two. They're going to be arguing. They're going to not really give a damn about each other, then as the story goes further on and on, they'll grow to, to like each other more. That's fairly typical. Watch out! Are you okay? I'm fine. She clearly doesn't hate the guy or anything like that. She's just doing what she has to do to survive. Um. Up? No. Okay, this is just shit to gather. This is be going that way, aren't I? Can I get up there? Nope. Get down. Ah, right, there we are. I can't get across. Can you help me? Thought you said you could get across. Am I supposed hey, to do? I need some help here. I'm supposed to do jump get this with you on my back? I guess so. Oh, that must have hurt. Thanks. That was too close. Sentry turret over there. We won't be able to get past. I'm gonna scan. Hmm. 
I'm detecting a structural weakness. If you could get close, you might be able to knock that down and crush it. Yeah, you go over there and knock it down and crush it. That was the wrong way to go. I could use my decoy to distract it. Oh, thanks for reminding me. I, I forgot. It's running out. Be careful. I need another scan. Looks like you might be able to sneak past them. Oh, they're asleep or something. All right. You can't get down? Okay, so I have to avoid the inner ring, but not the outer ring, I guess? Or can I, like, walk through here? Nope, I got it. Pressing the wrong button. Nope. I'm trying to get to that. There we go. Damn it! This is what I tried doing before. What wouldn't let me do it? Tried killing them all from the start. They spotted me, but I'm through. Like fireflies or some shit. Get up there. Just don't fucking kill me while I'm walking around out here. Okay, made it. Plasma cells. Now we're in business. This thing still works. Stop the war. you want me to do? Oh God. Help me out here. Okay, I'm clearly in the wrong space.
Every time you kill a mech, I can download its schematics. Figure out what makes it tick. It'll make life a lot easier for you. If you want to make life easier for me, why don't you go ahead and take this thing off? Oh, health pack. Where are you? No, oh, they were. If we're going to be traveling together, Maybe we should exchange names. My name is Tripitaka, but I often get called Trip. I mean, pretty much always, people call me Trip. How about you? I don't have a name. You must. Everyone has a name. Not everyone. Well, what did your parents call you? They were killed in a mech attack when I was a kid. I grew up in the wilds, alone. Well, what do other people call you then? Monkey. In the communities I trade with, some of them call me Monkey. If you want to give me a name, you can use that. Okay. Monkey. Trippin' Monkey. Oh, damn it. <laughs> what was her name? Tripitaka or some shit? That was... <laughs> I mean, it's the future. People are going to have funny names. Get down. Before that turret sees us. Scanning. I don't think we can get through here. Wait. I'm detecting a fuel source. A fuel cell? No. This is from the old days. It's in that container. Looks like it's petroleum. You know, Monkey, if you could actually get up to that turret, you can take control of it. Uh, so I gotta take control of turrets now. And for some reason, there's gas still in that tank. Do your thing, girl. I can't even get down the way I'm looking. Running out. Be careful. It's not only always explicitly clear to me which direction I'm supposed okay. to go. Fully charged. Which wouldn't be too big of a problem if it weren't for the fact I'm usually under fire when this kind of thing happens. Ready for me? <laughs> Why did we just do that? I'm detecting mechs. Lots of them. They're coming straight towards me. Oh, great. A mech, a uh, turret set. Can 
you be more specific? Oh, she right there. You take it out. You stopped it. I think that's the last of them. Let's get out of here. This is awkward as fuck. <laughs> Okay, this can't be the way I'm supposed to get out of here then. That's just too strange. Damn it, monkey, go! Okay, over here. your equipment. Oh, all right. That's how that works. I don't really I'm not paying a lot of attention to what I'm upgrading. I don't know why you suddenly came up with this idea you now. Across? How the hell am I supposed to make it? How can you throw someone further than you can jump? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Granted, Trip doesn't look like she weighs much, but still. Come in, or up oh, there. Are. sense. The sunlight feeds the plants. The plants oxygenate the water. The small fish eat the algae. The big fish eat the small fish. It's a closed ecosystem. Just like my home. My father designed our community to work in exactly the same way so that we'd never have to leave the outer compound walls. We grow our own food, condense our own water, create our own energy. We have everything. Except the future. What do you mean? Well, I've seen it all before. Scattered tribes coming together under one visionary leader that's never long before. They attract the attention of the slavers, which... obviously has already happened. It was just one slave ship. And they caught a handful of us. I think more won't follow. These fish can survive for 200 years against all the odds. So can we. Ah, ah shit, it's a Mega Man villain. Oh, damn. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't I don't see them fish surviving for 200 years in the Not a large enough ecosystem to facilitate predators or anything like that. No, if each of those fish could do nothing but the plants, it would only take until the first instant. He's losing control! It would only take till the instance of one of them breeding that suddenly Oh right the right button. Oh shit. Okay, I gotta damage him to make him charge. Oh, you're dead. If anybody's ever had a fish tank and you have two fish of the same species in there. As soon as they breed, they tend to eat the young. Fish eat each other, they're cannibals. And they don't breed with any idea of controlling their population. So they will just they will just breed as much as they can, consume all the food in their in their tank, and then they would their whole ecosystem collapses. Did I just hit the statue again? What happens when Atlas shrugs? Ah, oh, now they're gonna die. Where's the crash site now? It's over there. We're getting closer. We're gonna have to cross this ravine? Damn. You see that metal tower? Maybe we can use it to get across. Okay, I'll use the dragonfly to find us a route. I'll put a marker up on your headband display. We can get through here, but there are mechs up ahead. Looks like we don't have any choice. I guess she felt bad about those fish getting killed. I mean, if they somehow managed to survive in there for 200 years and these two idiots stumble across them and suddenly they're dead. That's, uh, that's a bit of a shame. Oh, they're asleep. Alright. Oops, that was a mistake. get here. Jeez. Let's keep 
going. I end. wonder. Oh, no way. No way. That's a taxi. No way. Looks like we have to head upwards. You could throw me up there. Yeah, sure. If you could push a taxi like that, I guess you could do anything. Why do the mechs try to kill us? It's all I know. We should keep moving, it's not safe. Guessing the mechs are the reason why society collapsed. I mean, they're everywhere and don't look like they have a factory or anything that they're getting built at. Look like they've been here for a long time. They're rusted, their paint's chipped away. Hey, an office chair. an energy serum. Should help your wounds. Uh, I don't need to do that right now. Hey, look, they have a curved monitor. Look at that. I hate those things. You want me to throw you across? <laughs> or just jump across? Are you okay? He didn't see him. Monkey, there's nothing there. I must be going crazy. It could be because of your headband. It is effectively wired into your brain. Maybe it causes hallucinations. Great. Great. This this just gets better and better. I'm sorry. You're not sorry enough to take the headband off, are you? Seeing like a flashback somehow Sweet. to back when it was a an office. I guess he's not really understanding what he's looking at when that happens. It looks somebody who actually climbs a ladder instead of just leaping up it. There's a room over here. I want to see what looks like this isn't the way that we go, but yep, dragonflies are. Fireflies, whatever the hell these are supposed to be. Little red plasma flies, I don't know. Photon torpedoes. Hey, we might have a problem. One of those mechs has a shield. Wait here, I'll do a scan. That's our way out. I'll mark it. There's something different about that mech on the left. I think its gun arm might be detachable. Okay, I'll see if I can rip it off. They've activated! Oh my god! <laughs> Distract it! Now, get to the ladder and 
knock it down. You get to the ladder and knock it down. What else do you have to do everything here? Couldn't you use your weird techno gizmo thing to go and like knock the machines out or something? Glitch. 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 Climb the ladder. Instead of standing on it. Oh, tell me this is where I have to end the episode. Oh my god. You know, I was actually kind of getting into this too. You kidding me? Up. I'm pushing a bunch of different buttons. Nothing. Nothing helps. Nothing. Not a damn thing. <sighs> Alright. Well, guess I gotta end this one here.